This clip reviews applications of linear models. The problem asks, if it costs a factory $30,000 to make 200 chairs and $45,000 to make 100 chairs, what is the cost as a function of the number of chairs made? Assume a linear model. Then determine the cost for 100 chairs. The problem in the blue box is for you to complete once we've gone through a solution for this given problem. Let's start by highlighting some important information in the question. We have a cost of $30,000 to make 200 chairs, and then it costs $45,000 to make 100 chairs. So we want to determine the cost as a function of the number of chairs, and we're going to assume a linear model. Once this is completed, then we're going to determine the cost for 100 chairs. I'm going to present the given information in a different form. I'm going to create a table of values. So I'm going to take the number of chairs, and we're going to let this be our x value. So this is our independent variable. Then we have cost in dollars, and this is our y variable. This is our dependent variable and then we're going to write them as an ordered pair, x and y. Okay, so I'm going to start with, we have 200 chairs, and the cost is 30,000. So my ordered pair is 200, 30,000. The next is 700 chairs and we have 45,000. So my ordered pair is 700 and 45,000. Okay, so this just helps to visualize the linear model we're going to use. We have our x values and our y values. Because the question says to assume a linear model, we're going to use the equation y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So we're going to do it in two steps. First find the slope and then we'll find the y-intercept. And we're going to use the relationship that m equals rise over run and it equals the change in y over the change of x and also as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that's the relationship we're going to use when we determine slope. Okay, so I'm going to start with step one which is to find m. So what we're trying to do is to get an equation in the form y equals mx plus b that determines the relationship between the cost to make a certain number of chairs. So we're going to start out with finding m. So m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. See, we're going to use these ordered pairs in order to find the slope. So I'm going to take this second point as my y2, my x2, y2 point. So y2 is 45,000 minus y1, which is 30,000, divided by x2, which is 700, minus x1, which is 200. Okay? And 45,000 minus 30,000 is 15,000 divided by 500 is equal to 30. Okay, so now we're going to sub m is equal to 30 into our general form of the equation, which is y is equal to mx plus b. So then y is equal to 30x plus b. So that's the start of our linear model. Okay, so I'd like you to try step one for your problem. The answer to your problem is shown in the blue box. We're now going to move on to step two, which is to find b. So I'm going to choose either of those two given points, and I'm going to sub it into this formula that we have started to find. So I'm going to choose the first point. So I'm going to sub 200 and 30,000 into y is equal to 30x plus b. OK, 
Okay, so my y value is 30,000 is equal to 30 times 200 plus b. So all I want to do here is solve for b. So I get 30,000 is equal to 6,000 plus b. I want b by itself, so I'm going to subtract the 6,000 from the 30,000 and I get 24,000. Okay, so now I'm going to sub my b into this equation up here and I get, so I'll just write that, sub b equaling 24,000 into y is equal to 30x plus b and we get y is equal to 30x plus 24 thousand. Okay, and that is our linear model. So at this point I would like you to go and try step two for your problem. Your answer is shown in the blue box. Before I moved on, move on to step three, I want to discuss what our solution means. We were found that the linear model is y equals 30x plus 24,000. So what this 30x here represents is the marginal cost. So this cost represents the cost it makes to, to make each chair, where this $24,000 is the fixed cost. So if we weren't going to make any chairs, it would still cost $24,000 just as a setup fee or operating cost. So it could be the labor, the, the cost of electricity, all those kind of fees is rolled up into this amount. We're now going to move on to step three, which is determine the cost for 100 shares. So what we need to do is sub x equaling 100 into our equation. So sub x equaling 100 into that final equation, which is y equal to 30x plus 24,000. Okay, so y represents our cost, so we're going to find what the cost is for 100 shares. So y is equal to 27,000. So we're just going to finish it off with a therefore statement since it's a word problem. Therefore, it costs 27,000 dollars to make 100 shares. Okay, so I'd like you to try step three for your problem. The answer to your problem is shown in the blue box. So this is an example on how to solve an application of linear models.